Welcome to our channel once again, my friends. Thanks for being here. Real Nice Guyana, home of traditional Guyanese recipes. Today we are doing yet another classical Guyanese recipe and it's going to be for stewed cabbage with chicken. And our ingredients are laid out there, my friends. This is one yummy dish as well. You know we have the cabbage and chicken curry and we also have the cabbage alone curry. Today we're going to be doing the cabbage and chicken stew. So for this recipe guys, we, we have a whole cabbage, we won't be using, it's, it's a large cabbage, so we'll only be using half of the cabbage. And we're using the chicken drumsticks and meat from that as usual, which we normally use. You of course can use whatever part of the chicken you like. Uh, we're going to be using tomato, celery, garlic, pepper, scallions, tomato paste of course for stew, and black pepper and salt. So that's about it guys, so let's get started with this yummy chicken and cabbage stew. So as usual we're going to begin getting our seasonings ready. So and as usual guys, all the ingredients with measurements is going to be below the video in the description box. So we have all of this ready. Now we are pungling our garlic. Of course, if you are cooking for a lot of people, you can use the entire cabbage. But this is just going to be enough for us. So we got our cabbage all cut up, as you can see guys, and we have our seasonings ready as well so we're gonna go get our chicken ready now that's the only thing left to get ready we also have our garlic and pepper so you strip the meat from the bone like that easy that's it done already so this is all meat we're gonna add to our cabbage. I know some people like to have bone in their in their dishes, in their uh, meat and veggie dishes. So if that's the case, you can certainly use bone in chicken. So we added a bit of vinegar to wash our chicken with. So we're going to add some oil to our pan. So we're starting with our onions as usual. Fry this up a bit, get us some flavors. Next thing is our scallions and our celery. Now we're now adding our garlic, our fresh garlic and pepper, which we did in the mortar. Fry this up for a little bit. Now we're gonna go in with our tomato paste. And that's one heaping tablespoon. One more. So three heaping tablespoons of tomato paste. So just about 20-30 seconds after we put our tomato paste, we're going to go in with our chicken. So 
Now we're going to add some salt. And some black pepper. So now we're going to cook this for about 2 minutes or so. We also pre-cook our chicken a little bit and get everything incorporated and build some flavors. So it's been about 2 minutes and we're now going to add our cabbage. There you go. So you want to give this a good mix now. Make sure your cabbage is coated with everything. So we have given this a good mix guys and um, this is how it's looking now. So we're going to cover this and let it cook. We haven't added our tomatoes yet. We're going to add that much later in this dish. So see you in a bit. Alright guys, so it's been about 5 minutes or so for our cabbage and chicken. And we're going to give this a check now. And as you can see, it has released some juices for our cabbage and chicken. Give that a turn. So, if uh, at the end, once your um, cabbage and chicken has evaporated, meaning it releases juices and dried it back again. Then you'll see what color your stew has. If you want to add some more tomato paste, you can do so at that time. And not before, because it's going to be too watery to do that at that time. So, we're going to add our tomatoes now. So at this time guys, we're going to add a little bit of water. Because we, we haven't even checked the cabbage, but we know this you will need a little bit of water to help to boil your cabbage. So we're going to add that bit. So now we're going to add our lid back on. See in a bit. So it's been a little bit more since we added the water to our cabbage and chicken. So we're going to check now, give it a turn. It's looking good, isn't it? So now we're going to cover this back. I'll let it cook some more. Alright, so our stewed chicken and cabbage should be done now. So we gave it a little bit of corn in between the last time we checked and now. And this is done. So you can taste for salt. Always need a little bit more, so we're going to add a bit. And that's it, that's all we needed to do. And this is our stewed cabbage and chicken recipe, guys. And it's looking good. Need some white rice or some roti. So yes, guys, that's it here for our stewed cabbage and chicken recipe. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. Please click the bell icon so you get notifications from us whenever we post new videos. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.